My name is Nanaya Ubriaboa. Um, I'm a project management development consultant. Um, uh, I hail from Ghana and a good friend to Zambia over the years. So Mozo TV is, um, um, I would say, is a subsidiary of Old Consultancy. Old Consultancy is the holding company uh, that comprises of Old Experience Platinum Event, which is the parent company, and then um, Mozo TV itself. Um, Old Consultancy is a 360 project management um, consultancy company um, that deals in um, financial engineering and uh, project management um, consultancy. Uh, we also into monitoring evaluation and um, basically to do more with um, being a mediator between projects and also the donor or the funders. That is what, what consultancy stands for and Mozo TV represents under. If I want to study the history of coming to Zambia or how this whole thing started, um, it's a long story. It's a very good love story. Um, but at the end of the day, what I can say is um, it was bound to happen because of many various reasons. Um, firstly, Mozo TV or the Mozo brand um, was created out of um, share enthusiasm to create another avenue for a music award show in Zambia. Uh, somewhere back in 2014 um, in Zambia. Um, at that time I was working with the, one of the biggest, I don't want to mention the name, uh, I was working one of the biggest television um, and media outlet. Um, just to give a clue, the, their headquarters is in the US and they are one of the biggest awards in the world in terms of music. Let me say I created Mozo from the anagram music of Zambia in origin, which simply then means Mozo. I remember very well, we, we, in 2014, after launching Mozo brand in 2014, somewhere in May as the music award. At that time, Mozo was being operated or being managed by the parent company Platinum Event. And we decided to launch Mozo as a music and entertainment um, brand um, for Zambia in December, where we brought in one of 10 and still one of the biggest um, Ghanaian artists, Joey B, for a concert in Zambia. Um, when we did that, proud to doing that, we had created the Mozo brand to cover the BET Awards, which arguably were the first ever Zambian brand to cover the BET platform. Uh, we followed it up by covering in November before the concert um, and my able guy behind the camera, Lloyd, uh, was the anchor to cover it when we covered the, the last edition of the Channel African Music Video I was in Johannesburg. I think that was where the whole idea of hoping to set up a TV station came in. We felt it was time to leave the area or the avenue of just being a Zambian international covering brand than being a mainstream television network and it motivated us to go further in trying to get a license starting in 2015 in March with the able partnership of some Zambian colleagues of mine who are my partners in a way uh, Mr. Mark Fessin and Mr. Molenga um, to cut a long story short, we had to stop using the brand Mozo for what we first created it for as an entertainment brand to cover international events for Zambia because of the um, legislation with acquiring the TV license because it then became a wholesome company registered to acquire a license from the IBA. So we stopped doing what we had started with the BET and then the channel and the likes. 
but then we kept promoting the brand under what Platinum was doing um, international movie premieres with um, celebrated actors and doing concert and management of um, some big events and all that which we kept promoting that brand so people naturally know about the brand most of those in the industry in Zambia know uh, there's been that anticipation of just been waiting for it but our biggest challenge was where we got an investment loan from a company in Turkey um, it was quite a lot that was like millions of dollars but hey I changed my mind um, to the dissatisfaction of my partners and uh, the reason being that I thought at that time that investment was too much and being alone it was going to be a problem and um, that actually halted us to um, pause a long while while looking for alternative investment but we're glad that we're here at this moment trying to do it in a very small way by the help of the holding company Oats. Last year, on this particular day, I had a very bad experience business-wise and personal-wise. And I think that pain from that time motivated me. And I believe the biggest motivation is pain. If you come out of it, it takes you onto a certain level that you don't want to go back to what transpired then it's been it's been tough um, I can't share all the details but I believe I have an amazing team that has made this possible um, we can mention about how resourcefully we've managed to pull through but uh, by the help of the holding company and other partners and well wishes our decision is to just start on a very small note but on a very relevant and credible platform and grow from there and um, not become the best, but our dream is to be the best beyond Zambia. That when any brand wants to look at the most um, relevant brand in terms of social entertaining television, they will just look at Mozo and nobody else. Yeah, so we're here to just complement what people have started and make sure we build beyond the horizon of everything in television and content and bringing it onto their homes via very innovative platforms. As old consultancy, the aim is to have a um, myriad of um, companies under that umbrella which will have various responsibilities to deliver on with different um, objectives. Um, the aim is to um, create an enviable television brand which has a scope of different innovative um, technologies, I would say, in terms of mobile, Mozo TV, mobile app, um, and then other forms of interactive services that we want to deliver onto the market. So the aim is to make sure Mozo TV grows under old consultancy, well managed, and become a household name beyond Zambia. That's that's actually the aim of the holding company so far as Mozo TV is concerned. The advantage of being exposed to certain market and uh, environment apart from Zambia gives me some bit of motivation to actually make sure Zam Mozo TV is not just staying put in Zambia but is networked across different areas. The good thing is that the holding company is duly registered in four other countries and operational and the parent company, which is Platinum Event, which has been in existence for a long time, is fully operational in Ghana and other areas. We've already signed some major contracts with GT Network, a Canadian-based company, content delivery company, whom we've partnered to deliver some content to Mozo TV. Um, we've also signed um, a partnership with a Zimbabwean um, 
production company or whom are bringing on board one of the biggest um, fr international franchise reality shows to us. Um, I already want to give the name right now. And um, considering all things being equal, we will be or we are, have we have affiliations in Kenya, Uganda, Ghana, and then um, Cote d'Ivoire. Hopefully, we can do some French as well. <laughs> and um, in the long term, our aim is to take Zambian brand out of Zambia for the world to appreciate what Zambia, in terms of local content, represents and what is internationally acceptable. That is our aim. I'm quite excited about the launch of Mozo TV because it's been a long time coming. Uh, we've had, like I said earlier on, we've had our own challenges that has really been uh, tough. Um, but in all things, we do appreciate the effort, or I personally appreciate the effort of so many people, well wishes, and um, other um, institutional relations that have motivated us in different forms to get to where we are today. And um, I'm, I'm strongly, I'm a strong fan of my ABO team. Um, currently, we have some amazing things that we're doing and things that they're putting together. And I'm pretty sure it will also be something everyone will be um, excited about and also be grateful for, for the little change that we're trying to bring into the industry. It's not really edgy, it's not just edgy, but like they say in their own words, it's quite a truly refreshing experience which everybody should be looking out for. Um, and with your help, we can do more and uh, give back to the society in a very social, entertaining way.